Hi everyone, hope you are all doing good. In the last module we have seen about the structure and functions of lipids and nucleic acids. And now we are going to see about the structure, function, types and properties of enzymes. Now let us move into this session. Enzymes are catalysts that speed up the reactions in our body. All enzymes are proteins. The biological process that occur in our body are regulated by these enzymes. There are so many cell metabolism process like digestion of food, conversion of larger molecules into smaller precursors, conservation and transformation of chemical energy are regulated by these kinds of enzymes. Without these enzymes, there is no chemical reaction would take place at a perceptible rate. The structure of enzyme is very unique. They are made up of amino acids linked together in a linear arrangement by peptide bonds. The structural levels of enzymes are similar to proteins which includes primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary structure. Among with this, enzymes have specific site called active site where the substrates can bind. Substrates are nothing but a molecule where the enzyme can act on it. With the enzyme, substrate has also unique shape which fits with the enzyme for the enzyme activity. Cofactors are helper molecules that can be either non-protein compound or metallic ions which influences the enzyme activity. If the cofactor is removed from an enzyme then it is called as of enzyme. Apart from this there is a molecule called apoenzyme which has no catalytic activity. From the cofactor this apoenzyme can be removed easily once it lost its catalytic activity. The properties of enzymes can be summarized as physical and chemical properties. Here we are going to see few properties like catalytic property, specificity, reversibility, sensitiveness to heat and temperature and finally sensitiveness to hydrogen ion concentration which is pH. Now coming to catalytic property. Enzymes have high catalytic power. A small amount of enzyme converts large amount of substrates. Then it is specificity. The enzymes are specific in their action. Every enzyme binds with specific substrates only. Then it is reversibility. The chemical reaction can be reversed. But catalytic reaction and catalyzed reactions cannot be reversed at any point. Then the enzymes are thermolabile which means they are sensitive to heat and temperature. Most of the enzymes are active at normal temperature only. pH are similar to temperature. The enzymes are active in acidic nature and some enzymes are active in alkaline nature. There are various types of enzymes are available in our body. The enzymes can be classified into different types based on location, shape, structure, activities, etc. Here we are going to see about several types of enzymes in the upcoming slides one by one. First type is oxidoreductases. It is an enzyme that catalyzes electron transfer reaction. It influences both oxidation and reduction process. The oxidant means an electron acceptor and reductant means an electron donor. Coming to transferases. It is an enzyme that catalyzes the transfer of group of atoms from a donor to an acceptor. For example, peptidyl transferases transfers amino acid during the DNA synthesis. The major role of hydrolysis is to break larger molecules into smaller ones. It acts as biochemical catalyst that uses water to break the chemical bonds. Coming to lyases. It catalyzes the addition or deletion of molecules like water, carbon dioxide and ammonia. For example, during glycolysis, it removes CO2 from pyruvate. Isomerases have the capacity to transfer one isomer to another one. It also facilitates intramolecular rearrangements. Also, this enzyme binds with one substrate to give only one product. Finally, coming to ligases. It plays a vital role in DNA replication process. It catalyzes the joining of two large molecules by forming a new compound. 
In DNA replication, the two complementary strands of nucleic acids are joined by ligase. There are several factors that affects the enzyme activity. Here we are going to see about few factors like substrate concentration, pH, temperature and also inhibitors. First we are going to see about the substrate concentration. Increase in substrate concentration increases the rate of reaction. Further increase in substrate concentration has no reaction changes because all the active sites are full and there is no chance for further attachment of substrates. Coming to temperature, most of the enzymes are active at normal temperature which is optimal temperature. If the temperature increases or decreases beyond the optimal temperature that may affect the activity of an enzyme. Next one is pH. pH is similar to temperature. It has some optimal pH. Below or above the optimal pH may lead to the risk of enzyme degradation and also it slows down the enzyme activity. Finally, we are going to see about the inhibitors. Presence of inhibitors affects the activity of an enzyme because it attaches with enzyme and gives no chance to substrate to bind with enzyme and there is no chance for further enzyme activity. Now we are going to see about the mechanism of an enzyme. All reactions needs an energy. That energy is called as activation energy. If there is no activation energy, a catalyst works in the reaction to complete. The mechanism of an enzyme has two steps. Firstly, the enzyme and substrate binds together to form enzyme substrate complex. Secondly, the enzyme substrate complex binds with second substrate to give product. The enzyme mechanism has two hypotheses. One is locket key hypothesis and another one is induced fit hypothesis. Coming to lock and key hypothesis, in this picture you can see a half oval shaped and triangle shaped structures, those are substrates and also you can see half circular shaped structure with two moles. That half circular shaped structure is called enzyme and moles are considered as the active site. The substrate binds with active site to give a product which is in greenish color. Now coming to induced fit hypothesis. Induced fit hypothesis is slightly similar to lock and key hypothesis. In this picture you can see green color as our enzymes and pink color is our substrate. But also look into that the structure of active site is different from structure of substrate which cannot fit with each other. right? So when the substrate comes nearest to the active site, the active site undergoes conformational change so that they both fit with each other to give the product. There are some enzymes that plays a very important role in our body. Considering lipase that digest fats in the guts. Amylase present in the saliva converts starch into glucose molecules. Considering maltase they breaks down maltose into two molecules of glucose. Like this there are enormous amount of enzymes found in our body plays a very specific role in cell metabolism and body functions. Now let us move to the functions. They play a very special role in digestive system where the enzymes breaks down larger molecules into smaller ones. In DNA replication it plays a role in unwinding the DNA coil, cell division and also even in protein synthesis. The enzymes present in liver breaks down the toxins in our body. There is no only one enzyme playing all this process but a group of different enzymes work together to complete a single process. Enzymes play a crucial role in our daily life. They found in laundry detergent, textiles, foods, beverages and fuels. Finally, we come to the conclusion of this topic. We have studied about the structure, function, types and properties of enzymes. I hope you have learned about this clearly. Now we come to the conclusion of this lecture series. In this series, we have seen about the cell structure and function, cell cycle, structure and function of lipids, carbohydrates, proteins and nucleic acids and also about the enzymes. Hope you have studied about all these topics very clearly. Thank you.